guys and welcome back. I like the look that I came up with. It was nice to get back into the groove of things with filming and everything and I hope to be um, a lot more consistent like I used to be. So stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Hello, hello, let's get started. At first I'm taking Supreme and that's going to go on the outer half of my crease. Um, I'm gonna go in with another color for the inner corner, but I'm just buffing that out with a big old fluffy brush. And then to blend that color out, I dipped into the shade Tickle from the Huda Beauty uh, Nude Palette. And I'm just using a really light hand to soften up that initial color, and then I'm taking it all the way up to my brow bone. Next I'm going in with Pinker, which is a little darker and a little bit more uh, purple toned. Now this is going to go on the inner half of my eye in the crease area. In hindsight, it definitely would have looked more appealing to have pinker on the outside of the eye since it's darker, but what can you do? And then instead of using another color to buff out pinker, I just went in with a fluffy brush and blended out that color all the way to my brow bone. Next I'm taking Big Wig and this is going on my outer corner. First I uh, pack on the color and then I start to kind of gen gently and like softly blend it out into my crease. Unfortunately, since this is a pressed pigment, I really had um, trouble with like patchiness and the color kind of fading away when I was trying to blend it out. So I ended up going in with another purple from um, the Sample Beauty Immensity palette, I believe it's called. Um, you're gonna see it right here. It's called Colossal. Um, and then I just kind of went over top of Big Wig with that and then um, blended the purple out. Okay, now I'm taking uh, Wigglies in Shookington. Shookington is gonna go in the middle of the lid and then I'm putting Wigglies on the inner part of my eye. After blending the two colors, I wasn't a huge fan of how it was looking, so I took my pinky and I applied some of Soleil right where those two colors meet up. For my face, I primed with the NYX Bear With Me Jelly Primer, um, and then I did color correct the areas of my face that are darker, so around the corners of my mouth, the sides of my nose, and then my under eye bags. Um, and then to color correct, I used the LA Girl Concealer um, Orange Corrector, and I set it with my Laura Mercier powder so it doesn't mix in with my foundation. Now for my foundation, I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation, and I cannot remember what shade I'm in, but I will link it below. Um, and then I just spray down my face with the NYX uh, Bear With Me Refresher Spray since it's like super, super thick. And then I just go in with my, uh, uh, what is it called? My sponge, <laughs> my beauty sponge. And then I concealed my monstrous bags with the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in True Beige. And if I want a little more coverage, what I'll do is I'll start to kind of lightly blend out the area with a brush before going in with a sponge. Um, it just gives it a little bit more time to sit and dry down a little bit. Also, be very, very thankful that you guys are on mute or that the sound is on mute in this video because as you can see, I am chomping that gum like a freaking cow. I'm so sorry you have to see that. And then after 
after setting my concealer, we move back on to the eyes. Uh, so first I'm tight lining my eyes with pinker and then I'm going to go blend it out with Supreme. And then I'm going to take Zam in my inner corners. Um, I was really shocked at the pigment right there. I had to tap it off a few times because it was a little bit too intense for me. Some days when I'm home alone with nowhere to go, uh, I like to do a little bit of contour. And I always use the Fenty Beauty uh, Matchstick, I think it is, um, in the shade Truffle. And I mean, my contour is not advanced by any means. I just do a little bit under my cheekbones and then blend it out. Sometimes if I want to get a little fancy, I'll put some like on the, the contours on my forehead, but typically I just leave it at my cheekbones. And then I use some pink eyeliner. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner pencil thing, and it's in the shade Boots. Bronzer today is Milani. This is the uh, Silky Matte Bronzer. It's in the shade Suntan. Now this bronzer isn't as warm as I'd like, but I bought it with my own money, so I am using it until it's gone. Now I didn't show the blush I used, but it's the ColourPop uh, Blush Stick in the shade Dash Zero, so I just put that on my cheeks and I think a little bit on my nose too. And then I wanted to add some color for my highlight, so I used the Artist Couture's uh, Diamond Glow Powder and it's in Purple Dream. I got this one in a boxy charm, so it just has like a slight beautiful like purple luminescence to the cheeks, which I love. Um, and then for lip liner, I used my trusty dusty NYX liner in rose brown. And then I did go in with two ColourPop lippies. Uh, the first one is with the band. It's a matte formula. And then I went in on top of that with Slacker, which is a cream formula. And yeah, there is the finished look. Um, hope you guys enjoy this slow montage of me looking all around my room and still chewing my gum like a cow because that's just my life. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Baby